This is my homemade incubator. It's probably about 20 bucks to make one. Um, this is just a cheap uh, Walmart cooler, it's like 227 for it. Um, I have a bottle lamp socket and it goes in, I cut out the hole. I actually super glued mine in and uh, the extra pieces that come with that bottle lamp kit, there's like little plugs I call them. I actually use these to use as vents for the top. Um, this is the inside of the incubator. Um, if you can see, I added this like a little shelf and I put double back, uh, not double back, Velcro. Um, I hot glued the Velcro pieces in there and this is the hygrometer I use. I don't use this for the temperature because the black box with the light bulb actually makes the reading higher. It retains some of the heat so it reads the temperature wrong. And I uh, put the pieces on the hygrometer and I stick that on just so it doesn't fall on the eggs. And I'll probably do that later when I set up. And this is my actual thermometer for the temperature. I just have a little screw in the side of the styrofoam that pulls it up pretty good in place. I've never had it fall on the eggs or chicks or anything. And this is the bottom. It's a little stained, but it is actually bleached. Um, you can see the marks around from where my trays were or the trays that I've tried making. What I found works the best is just a little piece of uh, hardware cloth. And I've got the edges bent down so that like the chicks don't you know, cut themselves on it when it's in place. The edges are in the, the styrofoam and it'll lay down flat. It's try to do it on hand, but it does lay down flat. And uh, I don't put anything underneath, like I don't put water underneath because I've had this actually, I've had this actually leak out. The pores on these styrofoam coolers are pretty big and I've had it leak through. So it's just impossible to keep water in the bottom for some reason, even if the water was in an egg tray. So whatever. I just use sponges. Um, I probably just put like one sponge during the incubation. It keeps it about 40% and then I'll add like a couple of them or if I needed a paper towel to up it. It depends on the actual temperature and humidity of, uh, you know, of the season. Um, I'm running a 15 watt bulb this time of year. I need a lighter bulb or a lighter watt bulb because if the house is hotter, say 80 something degrees, I don't want a, a bulb that's too strong that's going to cook my eggs. So uh, when the house is, you know, warm and it's summertime, if I'm hatching, like I'm going to be hatching soon, I'm just going to use a 15 watt. Otherwise, I'd use my 25 watt and I have an orange bulb just because I like orange. And the top of it, this is my, oops, I guess, modified top. I took a piece of plexiglass and cut out the natural, uh, I guess this is how this cooler comes. So I cut out like in between and just added the piece of plexiglass in. I guess there's people that use like picture frames and they can put, they put them on the sides. You can put it wherever you want. I just like being able to just like look down, you know, take pictures from above or whatever. And you know, This is the underside of it. I put a uh, computer fan in it because I prefer um, the fan on versus still air incubation and it's just hot glued into place. I've found that I've had to check like maybe halfway during incubation and maybe take it off and touch up the glue because I've had this fall off before. Like my first time I've ever used it, it did fall off. Maybe I didn't put enough glue on, maybe I didn't glue in the right spots, but I, I double checked the glue and, you know, touch it up just so it doesn't fall off and hit your eggs. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I will be uh, setting the eggs in a couple days, and uh, the carton, like the containers I use, like I use uh, just a regular carton, cut the holes in the bottom for circulation, and uh, I'll put a sponge underneath and just kind of prop, tip it upright, and then I'll just turn it around when I want to turn my eggs. So um, this time I'm actually going to do it lengthwise, and I'm just put one sponge on one side to prop it up, and then just keep going back and forth. So that's how I turn my eggs. I'm not going to get in there and hand turn them all if they're laid flat. You know, this bottom is not the sturdiest like a actual incubator bottom would be. So I wouldn't want eggs rolling around and whatnot. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, my homemade incubator probably costs like 20 bucks. So it's worked pretty well. Um, I've had seven out of nine eggs the first hatch. 
and I didn't actually keep track of the other ones, but I will be putting videos up, hopefully, of my incubation and hatch and hatch rate and whatnot, so you can see how it, you know, how it goes. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching.